Well, did you feel the shaking earlier today? We're counting at least 68 earthquakes with magnitudes 2.5 or above to hit an area about six miles west of Calipatria in Imperial County. The largest uh, quake so far is a 5.3. News Channel 3 Shelby Nelson with more on the likelihood this swarm could set off an aftershock of equal magnitude. When we asked viewers whether they felt a jolt, a majority of those who said yes were coming from the eastern end of the Coachella Valley. Good, big shake in the beginning, but after like a couple of seconds, it just went away. We were at this casino and I had texted my husband, hey, I think there was an earthquake right now. A swarm of earthquakes setting off early Saturday morning just south of the Salton Sea. Within less than 24 hours, the U.S. Geological Survey reported more than 65 quakes at a magnitude 2.5 or larger. I was uh, working um, for the, my company and then I felt it shaking and it was moving really, really, really um, swaying a lot. Vanessa Cordero felt it as far as Palm Desert. Others also feeling the shaking in Cathedral City and Indian Wells. Well, fortunately, no china or anything rattling, but uh, my life is watching the bird feeder right there. And so the bird feeder was swinging about more than normal. One viewer also sending in this video of a swaying chandelier, the largest of the quakes hitting just before 11 a.m. and measuring a magnitude 5.3. It's close to the Westmoreland Fault, but I don't know that it's actually on that fault system. Um, with earthquakes this small, we're not sure if we'll see actual rupture at the surface. If we do end up finding rupture at the surface, then we can positively say it's on one fault or another. USGS research geophysicist Morgan Page says when there are swarms like this, it's typical to see activity last from a day to a week. The epicenter is about six miles west of Calipatria in Imperial County in what is known as the Brawley Seismic Zone. But the question, could this swarm have any connection to the nearby San Andreas Fault? This is a very swarmy area. It has swarms all the time. We sometimes do have swarms that are closer. Um, so it slightly increases the probability of an earthquake on that fault, but I wouldn't say it's a huge increase in the probability just because it is about 15 miles away. While the chances of the activity impacting the San Andreas Fault are low, Page says there's currently a possibility for an aftershock of a similar magnitude. Right now, there's um, an aftershock forecast out for this event that puts the chance of another magnitude 5 event in the next week at about 20%. At the Salton Sea, Shelby Nelson, News Channel 3.